In this video, we're going to look at solving two-step equations on Khan Academy. So the key for solving two-step equations is to keep in mind that the equal sign signifies balance. It tells you that what's on the left side of the equation is equal to what's on the right side. So I'm going to rewrite this equation over here. And I'm going to put the variable in a different color. So the first thing you want to do when solving an equation is locate the variable. That's what you're trying to find. So like a little mystery, a little puzzle. So some number r, and that could be any variable, x, a, b, c, any letter. Some number divided by 9 plus 8 equals negative 13. So we're trying to get to what r is. r is like at the center of the, of the onion. And to get to it, we have to peel away the layers. Well, the layer that's stuck closest to R is this divide by 9. So we're going to have to wait to unpeel that till the end. First, we're going to unpeel this outer layer, which is plus 8. And we're trying to basically simplify this right side of the equation till we're left with just R by itself. Because then we'll know what R equals and we'll have solved the equation. So since 8 is getting added over here, to undo that, we're going to do the inverse operation. We're going to subtract 8 from each, sides, each side. And when you add or subtract the same thing from both sides of the equation, you're keeping it balanced because you're removing the same quantity or the same weight from each side. So on the right side, we've simplified it because we now just have our divided by 9. This has been canceled out, which was our goal in subtracting 8 from both sides. Over here on the left, we have negative 13 minus 8, which is the same thing as negative 13 plus negative 8, if you want to think of it as adding the opposite. And that's negative 21. So now we have some number r divided by 9 equals negative 21. So again, we're going to do the inverse operation to peel away this, this next layer of the onion, which is dividing by 9. Well, if we multiply by 9, we're going to cancel that out. Because when you divide by 9 and then multiply nine by 9, you're just back to 1, where you started. So over here, we're just going to have r. We've peeled away both layers. We peeled away this adding 8 by subtracting 8, and we peeled away this dividing by 9 by multiplying by 9. And whenever you do something to one side of equation, you have to do it to the other side to preserve the balance. So over here, we have negative 21 times 9. And that's going to be negative 189. Alright, for this next problem, it looks a little bit different because we have this parentheses. And I'm going to actually draw a line down the middle to separate the left-hand side and the right-hand side. That can make it clearer visually that these two sides are balanced or equal. So we're trying to find what w equals. Some number plus 1 times negative 4 equals negative 24. So if we look at this left side as this kind of onion riddle or puzzle, what's closest to the w is adding 1. And then we're multiplying by negative 4. So working backwards, this multiplying by negative 4 is the outermost layer. So as a first step, we're going to divide by negative 4 to get rid of that. Negative 4 divided by negative 4 is 1, so that cancels out. And we're left with just 
w plus 1. And that's going to equal negative 24 divided by negative 4 is positive 6, because a negative divided by a negative is a positive. Well, now we can peel away this innermost layer of the onion. w plus 1 equals 6. So, just thinking logically, what number plus 1 equals 6? 5. Because 6 minus 1 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. The last thing I'm going to show you on this problem is you can always check your answer by taking it and plugging it back in to the variable. If w is indeed 5, then when we replace w with 5 and check our work, the equation should be true, meaning both sides should have the same value. So on the right we have 24. On the left we would follow order of operations and, add, and do the parentheses first. We get 6. And lo and behold, negative 4 times 6 is 24. So we just verified that we got the right answer. All right, we're going to look at one more problem <clears throat> using the same technique. 41 equals 12 d minus 7. So here's our variable d that we're trying to solve for. And the two layers that we're going to have to unpeel are 12 times d and then subtracting 7. 12 times d is like the inner layer of the onion. That's stuck tight. So first we have to unpeel this minus 7. So we're going to add 7 to both sides. And again, I'm going to draw a line through the equal sign to just visually help separate the two sides of the equation. 41 plus 7 is 48. Over here we have 12d. Now if 12 times some number equals 48, then that number, d, is going to equal 48 divided by 12. So our final step is we're going to unpeel this inner layer of the onion by dividing by 12. 12 divided by 12 is 1. We don't need to write the 1 as the coefficient for d. We can just write d. That's the same thing as 1d. And 48 divided by 12 is 4. So d equals 4. And if we plug that back in, 12 times 4 is 48. 48 minus 7 is 41. It works. <clears throat>